hello hello everyone and welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you so how are they do today i hope so on a day okay right now on top internet another alleged information don't pop up concerning the palace of ilefi kingdom okay but anyway under the comment section of where i saw this alleged information no more <laughs> hey a whole lot of people don't they see olori Miriam as the uh person where they always look for trouble oh yes so oh, and not that now waiting she be okay so everybody don't know i'm saying hey, hey, hey this woman now one week one trouble this one don't pass one week one trouble this one is one week hundred troubles <laughs> so allegedly olori Miriam and uh olori elizabeth uh engaged in sort of fighting yes so they exchanged words together to the extent that it almost led to fights so uh allegedly the the person that that brought up the fight was Miriam. that was because uh when she was saying that she's going to sue kbac that she's going to do this she's going to do that in fact she's not living again uh elizabeth was like you won't leave while you are sitting in someone's uh, home while you are um in someone's home you don't want to leave uh someone else's husband well what do you mean by you cannot leave that CEO that by fire by force she must leave the palace of ilefe kingdom that uh, she's just taking her time that what she wanted is for kbac to give her go ahead order that once kbac gives her go ahead order that she's going to throw Miriam out of the palace of ilefe kingdom so Miriam was like who gave elizabeth the audacity to talk to her that way she was like if i'm going to leave the palace know it too well that you are going to follow suit I'm, i will not be the only person that will leave the palace it's either i and you or nobody leaves the palace so it's either uh you live with me or we both stay so Miriam um was now shouting for her to the extent that they they wanted to do it hand to hand <laughs> but because they were oloris and so many people are inside the palace they decided to comport themselves somehow but allegedly one person do already land one person uh slap for uh chic i was like hey, hey, hey. When will this uh, water water end for inside palace? When will this gospels end? Let these women go away now so that we we'll start hearing good news about the palace of Ilefe Kingdom. Why Queen Naomi was in the palace? Now so so good news now we they hear. I don't take my time. See, I took I took my time. I searched the internet, I soft everywhere to know if uh, during the time that Olori Naomi was in that palace, to know if I will see any bad this thing, you know now all these bad happenings, all this water water, this that that uh kbsc sister did this or niece sister did that this do that i didn't see anything at all at all i didn't see anything of such at all so why is it that now that kbsc got married to these six wives every day will be hearing gospels inside the palace <laughs> it's not funny my people my country people let me tell you it's not funny at all and i don't even know how kbsc is still comfortable staying in the palace of ilefe with them um with the rate of uh, water water going on in the palace of ilefe i think that by now that kbsc must have uh, taken the right decision by sending them all first sending all of them out of the palace of ilefe but <laughs> will i say reverse is the case because it's not what we expected that we are seeing you know it's not it too hmm, hmm. hey so this has left so many people talking about it so many things wagging people we are like what is happening okay now see it olori elizabeth engaged in fighting with olori now uh Miriam. we all know so well that um who brought as in the person that brought up the fight was olori Miriam. without being told self you know that it was olori Miriam that brought her up the fight okay because through all the water water what she done they always cost on top internet you'll be like ah ah what is happening so since where uh honorary elizabeth entered the palace the only thing where she did do the only offense which she commit for that palace is uh the offense of trying to bring queen naomi and kbac back together okay even honorary now uh, miriam don't come out several times even honorary aderonke don't come out several times say that uh uh honorary elizabeth is doing all these things just for her own um interest that she had another interest why she is doing it we never know we still the monitor honorary elizabeth but as he did now the only thing we would uh where Miriam 
they always complain say Olori Elizabeth they do to Rambi say uh Olori Elizabeth they always plan make we Naomi come back and make Miriam leave the palace okay so Miriam was like I won't leave alone you are going to follow me if I will leave this palace you will follow me so is either we both stays back or the both of us leaves the palace of Ilefe Kingdom but the one where Pepe me so well the thing Pepe me reach my stomach be say why will Olori uh, Miriam allegedly engage Olori Elizabeth into fighting why now what, what are they turning that palace into i'm no longer in fact i'm no longer happy in fact hi god i don't know how you feel about all these alleged informations flying up and down inside the palace of Elife kingdom it's so heartbreaking a palace where you know that once you come in there you have to, you 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 see your in fact you will see peace peace is something that we don't see we can't touch it's an abstract now i think yes but a palace is a place where once you enter there you will see that peace where nobody they see you will see peace you will feel peace you will touch peace you will even kiss peace you will even play with peace but this time i'm just in fact i'm surprised that even <laughs> when you go around in fact, go turn around do everything inside the palace right now you will not see that peace not to talk more of touching the peace so it makes so many people shed tears yes shed so in fact both uh, um emotional tears and the physical one the ones you can see and the ones you cannot see so people are not happy with the happenings in the palace okay because they are looking up to that palace they are looking up to it where they are good in fact where things good will come out from so this one that allegedly every time only Marian will be causing fights here and there nobody is happy with it okay i tell you nobody if you go under any alleged information comment section like this oh you will cry you will see so many even people will go tell you say them they closer to the palace that's the uh, that's the reason why i normally say, say in every lie there must be atom of truth and in every truth there must be atom of lie somehow so People, in fact, just check the comment sections of all these alleged information. You will see certain people that are closer to that palace. That will tell you that Olori Miriam don't don't do this or Olori Miriam did that or ah uh, ah uh, this time around is fighting. Ah uh, ah, uh, I know. In fact, I know too. I, I know enjoy him at all at all at all at all. But anyway, Olori Elizabeth is just trying to make sure that uh, Kabiesi and Queen Naomi reunite again. That's the only thing she wants to do. She doesn't mind sleeping under the rain. She doesn't mind running out of the palace. She doesn't mind. In fact, she doesn't mind anything in life if not to uh, reunite uh, uh, Kabiesi and Queen Naomi. But the other Oloris in the palace, they keep saying that she has another intentions why she's there. But anyway, as they know, do, as uh, they know they uh, cover pregnancy, now so they know they cover uh, anybody where they, where they pretend. One day it will come out. But we believe, say, right now that she's still rooting for Queen Naomi and she wants Queen Naomi back to the palace. So let me know your thoughts about this alleged information under the comment section, okay? Uh, and please, we are talking about the royal family. Please, while you are dropping a comment, let it be a constructive one. Don't insult the palace of Ileife. Don't insult the truth of Ileife or insult anybody from the palace of Ileife. Just drop a constructive message. I'll be glad. Thank you and God bless you. Till I see you all in my next video. Bye for now.